this episode, we ask the question, what internal adaptations do pandas have to eat bamboo? Hey, Josh Bernstein here. I'm behind the scenes at the National Zoo. The Smithsonian National Zoological Park in Northwest Washington, D.C. is home to 2,000 animals. None more famous than their giant pandas, Mei Xiang, Tian Tian, and Bao Bao. Earlier today, caretaker Marty Deary showed me what giant pandas eat, and I learned about their unique external adaptations as carnivores eating mostly plants. I also fed a panda his afternoon snack, a frozen fruitsicle. 99% of a panda's diet is bamboo. It's a type of hollow stem grass. Unfortunately, it's not very nutritious. So over millions of years, pandas have had to develop both external and internal adaptations that allow them to get nutrients. One way caretakers monitor the internal health of pandas and their digestion is by collecting their poop. Marty has invited me to come along and see the panda poop. We start our investigation by labeling plastic collection bags. Then we head into the yard to look for the poop. So they do typically kind of go kind of perimeter to the yard. Um, May, for some reason, sometimes likes to go into the bushes. So okay. sometimes you have to kind of look. I don't crawl in there, but you know, kind of just look along the base of the trees. I have no idea what panda poop looks like. Is it like, what's that? Really? Oh, yeah, it's it good can, size. Sometimes it can be bigger. We search in earnest, looking under trees, next to rocks, near logs, no shortage of pooping places in this panda enclosure. Is that some there? No, that's just wood. That's a false alarm? Yeah, that's wood. That's wood. Yep. That's not poop. Oh, I see some. You do? Where? Yeah. Right over here. That? Yep. <laughs> it looks like an avocado. I've heard people say that before. Just the shape. I wasn't, really, I was not, can I, can I pick it up? Yeah, pick, go ahead. I was not expecting that shape, I have to say. That's a very normal looking fecal. And that's actually what we call a culm fecal. So the pandas eat the culm, which is the central stalk portion of the bamboo. What they do is they tear off the hard outer portion and eat a softer inner part, mm -hmm. which is this. This is all bamboo. Is it okay if I smell this Absolutely. panda poop? Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. It's, yeah. it's um, what is that smell? It's like ferment, fermented, what, 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 is the, what is that? Sometimes it's, to me it smells a little bit like grass, because bamboo is like a grass. grass. Yeah. And I've heard some people say it smells like tea or something. Tea, yeah, but it smells like tea if you left it out overnight. There you go. Like it's the next day's the tea. The next day's tea? Yeah. <laughs> I noticed the fecal is covered in a shiny coating of mucus to help it pass through the bear. With all the woody stems, I can see why. Look at the mucus. Yeah. Right? Is that what that is? Yeah. They do typically have a little bit of a mucus sheath on it. Can you see that? Yep. There's mucus on that. It's got a sheen. It's like a. It's like encased in mm -hmm. a, a little sack of mucus. Mm-hmm. Do you think that helps it go through the intestinal tract? It's track? possible. Yeah. yeah. Bamboo is made of woody fiber called cellulose, which is a carbohydrate made of sugar molecules. Most carnivores lack the gut microbes to digest cellulose, but researchers have found that pandas have adapted to have some of these microbes. Pandas have a really quick gut transit time, mm -hmm. so when they eat something, six to eight hours, maybe 10 hours later, it's coming out the other side. Unlike other herbivores, pandas have only one stomach and a short digestive tract, so there's less absorption of nutrients. This means that food passes quickly through them, which is partly why the poop looks so woody. We soon find another fecal. This one is green, and it's called a leaf fecal. In the spring and summer, pandas eat mostly the leaves of bamboo. But in fall and winter, the bamboo stores nutrients in the stalks, or calm. We filmed this segment in the early fall, so we found calm and leaf fecals. This one smells more leafy, which makes sense. Makes because sense. it's got leaves in it. Right. <laughs> yeah. That smells like tea. I can see, yeah, it that does smell, that, like, that tea. Does smell okay. like tea to me, again. Not, not fermented tea, just, you know, <laughs> tea as you're tea. drinking it, yes. Because bamboo is low in nutrition, pandas have adapted to eat a lot of it, nearly 60 pounds a day. They can poop up to 50 pounds a day. That's over 15 times the size of the poop pile I've gathered. That's exhausting. It is. It's a lot of work. We spend work. all day moving yeah. bamboo around. Marty says the panda fecal appears normal in color, shape, size, and texture, indicating that the pandas are healthy. As for our original question, what internal adaptations do pandas have for eating bamboo? We learned that they use mucus to pass the fecal through their intestines, muscular stomachs for digesting food, and gut microbes to break down cellulose. They also eat and poop continually. On it, you know, if... We place our specimens into a freezer to prevent decomposition. They will then be shipped to the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute, or SCBI. That's where scientists use poop to learn about the reproductive cycles of animals. 
It was awesome. Awesome. I'm glad you had a good time. In the next episode, I visit SCBI to learn how hormones are taken out of the poop and analyzed.